Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Our members of the head table, all protocols observed. Uh, I wish I was as careful as myself. I do you know, I'm very abnormal. When I see people like you, I feel very uncomfortable. So just that my elder son looks like you so much. God bless you for what you do for young people. I've spent a great percentage of my time relating with young people and some of the benefits I enjoy today globally and for, uh, from those who I mentored when I was a Sunday school teacher at Abaka. I want to especially welcome our youth members or NYC members. I served in 1985 at Abra, and I stayed behind. And I became an evil man by adoption. I'm so glad my daughter that I did then today is also married to an evil man now. So I'm happy to accept. Thank you all for coming. You know, popularity is a problem. Uh, Peter B, I know that he is being torn apart by too many engagements. I admire you so much because I lived and I still live like him. In fact, people call me from drinking parlor, they will say, Doctor, somebody is saying here that you are very stingy. I say, Yes, I'm a stingy man. That was why I was able to train three children in Europe from Mobile. I'm really stingy. Sometimes we take it myself. I don't have, don't wear his watches. My daughter married recently. I watch out there and they talk because I don't have any morality. I can't carry half a million and put inside the box. I will use it to buy land and sell. <laughs> I like that part where they introduced me as a farmer. The medical doctor aspect doesn't excite me. The farmer, I farm on 40 acres. And I bought that with my money. We were talking about really making first class in chemistry. I found my legend. You see, the only the, the, the mindset of going to university to get a job is slavery. That's why you are called civil servant, civilized slavery. <laughs> That's why your life is greater than level. I studied medicine in the University of Nevada and the city of Prague. But while I was in medical school, I saw my professor of cardiothoracic surgery, who was one of the best in America before he came in. I saw him begging a full and happy trader. During Buhari's first advent, 29 and during Buhari's age. And I told myself, if you want to learn to walk, you will look your back. If my professor did beg cattle rearer or trader money, I don't do him the less offensive. I'm a brilliant man, very early. And I told myself, I will practice medicine till 40. And after 40, I will look for one. But I made a vow that none of my kids will come from me. My classmates are professors in the United States and United Kingdom. I made a vow that none of them will come from the United States or United Kingdom and intimidate me in any way. I have three boys in Europe. One is an orthopedic surgeon. I have another one who has a kid. PhD in software engineering. He's married to a cardiologist. I have a third one who has a master's in strategic marketing. But they don't feed me. I'm laying a foundation for their children's children. That's such that none of my grandchildren will look for work if he doesn't want to work. I interviewed for a lecture of entrepreneurship in the university. She sells eight pieces of her pack every month, every day. Eight pieces 
at 500 naira each is 40,000. 40,000 times 20 days is 800,000. A month she sells with that market. Say the like, you are not that. You like the market has good. You like the green packaging. The money in this country is in the streets. When you bend it down, you will see. I did on real estate, I said that. The transactions I made with my phone, I saw the property in uh, Washington State. I've never seen the property. I don't know the person who, who is buying the bought from the UK. And just doing that transaction, I'm entitled to 1.5 million with my phone. They paid me 700,000. I didn't tell my wife I just left it. But if I tell her, you demand me. <laughs> and you can study anything. The best way education is to make you reason spatially, that is, not this fossilized, rigor mortis reasoning. You're able to think. Recently, my wife, because no child no child that to my wife said, all this your travel, 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 travel. We must get tenant from this compound. Because I live on half an acre. I live on eight bedrooms, ten toilets, and it's traveling. And I don't have tenants. He said, it's your travel, 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 travel. I said, okay, okay, I hear you. And I was praying, God, what do I do to this man with my travel? And I gave two lectures in two places. And they gave me an honorarium of one million. Just talking, talking in Nigeria, not the US. Talking in Nigeria. 500,000, 500, and minus comfortable hotel and good food. One, one of them I was chauffeur driving with police escort. One million. So when I was going, when I was traveling again, I gave my wife a check booklet. I said, we draw one million. We draw one million. And they travel, they draw one million. When I came back, after some time, I stayed with the house, I didn't travel. She asked me, and when did they travel? <laughs> There is money in this country. You just have to understand how to make the money in this country. Moody Africa made a set of clothes like this, three sets. A table, the street is named after in Lagos. He made three sets of clothes. He attended public college because three sets of clothes like this. And when he came to give a lecture in my conference, we went to supply them to one young man at Warren. To entertain us and welcome us was 100,000 and bottles of expensive wine just to welcome us. And the bill for the three senatorial, the senator they call it, the three of them, was 800,000. There's so much money in this country. Detoxify yourself of what your professors have taught you. If what they know pays them, they should be going on strike. I don't go on strike. So I school all through in Nigeria. I also have a master's in public administration. I made 10 days at the end of the city. But what I learned in the university was what I have learned in the streets. I won't live in any other country. Because this place. And that's why I'm interested in what is happening. We die here. <laughs> I want to thank God for coming. I came with Abraham. Abraham, please, can you stand up? Abraham is uh, a resource person, leadership trainer, highly sought. And you can see a customer, a customer, and you can trust you. And the ambassador, Dennis Aguri, Dennis Aguri, the ambassador, and the wrong set. Example very few that it doesn't. I'm supposed to speak on making, I mean, living a life of significance. Living a life of significance. One of the key things I learned in public speaking is that only what is defined can be refined. Anything, we are not defined what Nigeria is. We don't know why we are here. That's why we are still here with are. What is living? One of the years I woke up.
up and I said, uh, Happy New Year. I was thanking God for bringing me to the New Year. And he said, My son, you have been existing, you have not started living. I was already a medical doctor. I was already practicing medicine. I had children, I think I stopped having children then. I said, What is living? He told me, Living is when people thank me because of you. That somebody wakes up and thanks God because of you. I hear your prayers. Some people are in the mortuary now, you are alive in the sanctuary. Some people are in the mortuary are better than some people who are alive. When your positive impact remains, develops and replicates in other people's lives. I was driving from Warren one day. I had the missionaries talk on my windshield because I do economic missions. I travel to African countries and teach them how to live well. And one of them came and stopped me. He said, Pat, I was angry. Pat, so are you a missionary? I said, yes, sir. I said, is there anything wrong with me? He said, no. He said, I am a twin. I was born in a Kremont. We are the last set of twins that we are not killed because of Mary's lesson. So Mary's lesson has long died and gone in Scotland. Or she died in Okoyo, where she was in her missionary work. But Mary's lesson is living in this man. There is a road safety man who is saying, I am alive because of Mary's lesson. That is living. It is different from bias, which is celebrating in and preaching out and celebrating what animals celebrate. She delivered like a Hebrew woman. Is there any midwife that attends to an elephant? <laughs> an elephant gets pregnant for 22 months and the baby falls from the height of close to uh, six feet down. No midwife. No midwife attends to your dog. A pig delivers 10 to 14 children. No dancing. I survived an accident. You can cut off the tail of the lizard and it will still eat well. You can remove two legs from the cockroach, it will still eat well. I traveled overseas. There are birds that are traveling from Africa to Europe and come back. I built a house. The ant built a territorium that is 30 feet high in the savannah. If you are going to put up one from LA, you will see tall territorium. If you go to Abuja, you will see big ones. By mathematical extrapolation, a human being is supposed to build a house that is 11 kilometers high. So, what do you need to build that you are celebrating? And the territorium is air conditioned throughout the air. Constant humidity. And it has some bad value. That it has a tiny bit of it. Because it's for the satellite. So it grows fungus inside the territorium that it has. So what are you celebrating? Most of the testimonies we share are very mundane testimonies. Living is being an extension of God's hand. Saint, I think the Catholic Church has been my sin. Saint Teresa Mary in Africa was not originally from India. She went to India and started taking care of sick people and uh, poor people and dying people. And the country came out to stage area that only President Lil. She became an extension of God's hand. I used to take care of children in the Rimano. I found out that the children in the Rimano were having grandmother in the place to the bodies and the place to the And I went to the body of the one hand. The one hand was back. And they were taking me to the grave. For one year, And today, I think it's a place to be. I don't think you're a place to be. I don't think you're a place to be. 
broke, you are casting out demons for real. You just fall, you don't like trouble. But all those who carry demons, you start with one leg. <laughs> Sorry. 